Hello everyone, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we are going to be going over the Ethereum chart today. I want to be talking you through the long position that we are in right now and I'm going over once again the targets and now we have very really well defined support levels. Um, obviously Ethereum is the best performing altcoin over the past few weeks so I think it's really, you know, it's really important to remember that generally speaking like the the bigger caps move first so it's really important if you have an idea of what ethereum is doing what well, then the smaller cap altcoins should follow suit uh so ethereum right now obviously if we currently on the weekly chart i made this clear i believe in my last video that we're looking for the weekly order block as our target which still currently sits about another 15 percent to the upside so this is obviously our first target well if, if, if you're in the you know if you're following along with what i'm doing that's the first target for me Okay, the weekly order block. Um, obviously, we can expect this to be broken overall, but it's not a level that we would just expect like straight through it necessarily. It's more of a region where we would expect to come in to consolidate, maybe get a bit of a pullback before ultimately coming up again. So this for me is a very important level of resistance. And that, that's obviously a region because you have to remember this order block is a region. That region really we could say is coming in at around 0 0.56 to 0 0.06. This, this region, obviously we're looking at the uh, Bitcoin against Ethereum here. Uh, if you're not aware though, I'm obviously trading this. <laughs> trading it long, very, very, very long. That we can say I'm long against Tether. I'm long against the USD pair. So obviously on Bybit they have the Tether pair. They have the USD pair and they have just holding spot. So I'm, I'm holding spot Ethereum. I am long on the USD pair, which was from quite a while ago. And obviously I got into the long on the USDT pair more recently. So I'm, I'm long three, three times over on Ethereum. <laughs> but it's just because the chart looks so good. I had to. And looking up, obviously on the USD pair, we were talking about that $3,000 level. Um, so we can remain aware of $3,000 resistance on the USD pair. But really, the way that I base my trades is off of the underlying asset against Bitcoin. And that's where I'm looking for around 0 0.56 uh, coming into the weekly order block of resistance, which again, want to emphasize, doesn't mean we're going to crash from here. And that's the absolute high. But it is a level where we can look to take profits on longs, look for a little bit of consolidation, maybe a day trading range. Uh, before ultimately breaking down, potentially back testing the weekly or alternatively continuing on to higher levels, which, well, like I've been saying, I think if we get through the weekly order block, we are going to be looking very bullishly for a, from there another 50 to 100 percent gains to the upside of Ethereum. Very high potential um, where we're literally talking about very high potential gains here, in my opinion. And yeah, that, that weekly order block for me is very, 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 very important level to clear, because if we clear that, yeah, I'm, I'm looking for an, at least another 50 percent to 100 percent move to the upside, to be honest with you. Yeah. So obviously on the flip side, the weekly, uh, very, very, very important support level now. Okay, we do, we've had our weekly close above it. Uh, that's all really, really good. And that for me is, you don't want to see it lost. Okay, so as you can see here, you've got the weekly level 0 0.04316 and the monthly below that 0 0.03966 sats. So these are ultimately two extremely important support levels. <clears throat> that look for if, if if they're lost for me i'll close my longs like 100 percent i'm not necessarily i'm not really expecting that to be happening at the moment i think ethereum is looking really strong but this is the thing in trading we're, we're not talking about 100 percent guarantees obviously i personally think it's unlikely that we lose those support levels now without hitting into the weekly order block but of course it's possible it's absolutely possible and that's why when you're in trading you have to remember you know where is your invalidation on these longs like where are you wrong on these long positions where are you right where are you wrong and you know where do you want to buy more where do you want to sell that's basically all you need to know i i know exactly where i'm wrong where i'm right where i want to where i'd buy more where i'd sell uh in terms of a take profit one at the very least anyway i wouldn't close my whole position at that weekly order block but um yeah obviously we had a, like a little bit of consult well we this is the thing we all uh, this is what i was telling to my group so this was obviously a snippet uh this is over on twitter so this was posted yet yeah, so this would have been two days ago i was saying okay finish bitcoin <laughs> my opinion on ethereum though is it still looks good and i am remaining in my long positions that was based about two days ago and this was while we were coming down and back testing the weekly see this is the weekly level level we've had on for a long time and we basically back zero zero dot zero eight five percent for, for me this is classed is this an acceptable back test of a weekly level hitting it with you know less than one percent being hit that for me 
is classed as a backtest of the level. Because what you have to remember is those weekly, daily levels, they, they you don't have to look at them as an exact dollar per se, or an exact sat. You can look at them as a region. Okay, and if you if you class this as a region, which you should do, then you have to remember, well, just in my opinion, that, that was that was for a back test, and that's why this is obviously within inside the champions group. I was telling everybody, I still think Ethereum looks good. I am remaining in my long. That was that was two days ago now, and since then we've finished the back test of the weekly and we moved up even from that back test another nearly twelve, you know, coming on twelve percent. So yeah, I think it all it all boils down to on Ethereum right now understanding that the asset looks extremely bullish in my opinion it looks really 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 great um knowing where that really important support levels are knowing where you want to hit your take profits and then for the rest of the time it's very i want to say relaxing chilled like that that long on ETH on the usd pair man i've been in that for a long time i've just been happy to hold this because you know, because the asset looks good. And obviously, the, I'll tell you, my USDT entry, this is obviously all on Bybit. But, you know, it's, you basically, you have the, you have, my USDT entry is, for if you're wondering, uh, $2,196. So that's my USDT entry. And USD entry around 1200 But obviously, the USDT pair was more recent, um, basically when Bitcoin pulled back to around, you know, 47K. And so from, from here, yeah, I think that, that, that's, that's really about it. I think if you're long on this asset, congratulations. If you're not on long on this asset, then um, I think you're sleeping on Ethereum, to be honest with you. You had an extremely good opportunity to buy it a few days ago. Again, is this a good opportunity to buy? Absolutely not. You do not want to buy here on Ethereum, even though we're expecting another 100% move to the upside potentially. You know, you got to remember, you, you there's good times to buy and there's not good times to buy. And if you're buying now, it's 100% FOMO. 100% FOMO. You should have been buying it a few days ago when you were back testing the weekly. Buying now is crazy. It's just really, I'm just going to say it's a really bad place to buy. So <laughs> even if we are expecting moves up, I would just never, ever, ever approach this buying a buying where we are here. Okay. So if you haven't been sleeping on Ethereum, if you've missed my last few videos where I've literally been calling this one, then hey, just wait for the next retrace, I suppose. Maybe it come, maybe it doesn't come for another few days. But I would, yeah, really wouldn't FOMO into this one where it is right now. Obviously, we're seeing altcoins across the board generally peaking up a little bit. If you've been following along, you know I'm long right now on XRP. I'm long on DOT, Bitcoin. I'm actually I have been long on Bit. Well, basically, pretty much I'm long on uh, the majority of alts that they have on Bybit because I've recognised I wanted to get I wanted to um, basically because you have to be in Tether. I wanted to get round a bit of my Tether and not just be allocated to all on Ethereum. So I was long on a few different alts. And the thing is, my my thought process is if, is if, is if Ethereum is going to do well, these other altcoins are generally going to do well as well. Okay, so that's the thought process behind it. And as well as Bitcoin was coming down to around $48,000, $47,000, um, you know, you have to envision, you know, if Bitcoin is going to be remaining within that range, even if Bitcoin had dropped, let's say, to $40,000, it's still within a nice sideways range. And when Bitcoin is ranging, the altcoins are generally doing well. So I think even if Bitcoin had have dropped, obviously it hadn't, it hasn't, it, it, it short squeezed. But if Bitcoin had have dropped, I still think Ethereum would have done well nevertheless. So yeah, that's that's my opinion on the on the altcoins here. Uh, where I'm looking for my next target, I'll just repeat it once again. But for me, the next target is the weekly order block. Okay. Um, weekly, you know, monthly must hold. Weekly, of course, very, 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 very important level of support. And... Yeah, I, I must admit, I am definitely still bullish on this asset. Uh, <laughs> how could I not be? It's literally, um, yeah, it looks really good. So yeah, that, that, that's that's really what I wanted to bring you. Just a quick update on ETH. If you've enjoyed the update, smash the likes and I'll, I'll bring you some more different altcoin updates if you're interested. I am trading a bit more altcoins right now. Um, obviously, we got the contenders videos tonight. So if you want to join us on the TPO series, tonight is the first episode or first yeah first episode i suppose of the tpo series that is very much being anticipated by a lot of people and we are starting that tonight so we're going to go really in depth on this one uh so if you want to learn about that that's what we got for you tonight over at chartchampions.com i think it's going to be absolutely amazing so yeah if you want to learn about tpo series that's what you got tonight in terms of everybody else um anything else that i really wanted to say oh yes of course no financial advice Pause to understand the legal trade disclaimer. This video just 
course, no financial advice, not telling you what to do with your money. And um, yeah, I think that's I think that's it, really. So I hope you've enjoyed. Have a brilliant day. And uh, I guess I'll, I'll catch you maybe tonight in the live stream. I'm just awful at ending these videos. I'm just going to say uh, exactly as predicted. Thank you ever so much. Have a good day and goodbye. <laughs>